Let's now look at the derivation of the kinematic equations from the basic definitions of the kinematic quantities. Let's first start with the definition for acceleration or average acceleration. Average acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by the time elapsed. If we rearrange that equation, we get AT is equal to VF minus VI or VF is equal to VI plus AT. This gives us our first equation. To get the second equation, let's look at the definition for average velocity. Average velocity is the final position minus the initial position divided by the time elapsed. Now under constant acceleration this is also equal to this quantity. Okay, This is only true under constant acceleration When we rearrange this equation, we get this. And if we replace Vf um, by an expression in equation 1, We can simplify that to this. With a little bit of rearranging, we get the expression we are looking for. Oops, sorry. The second kinematic equation. Now, starting from this expression here, but this time eliminating t using equation 1, we can get the third kinematic equation in this manner. So now this time, let's replace the t by rearranging this equation for t. Vf minus Vi over A equals T. And let's substitute T for that value. And we get this. Okay. If we rearrange this now, we get this expression. Actually, we get this. So, rearranging this, we get the final equation we are looking for.